All right, everybody, welcome back to the Super Duty build. In this video, I'll get started by building the aft bulkhead that's behind the third seat in the Super Duty. And then I'm going to show you why I made these two aluminum boxes. I'll show you what those are for coming up. These are the L-angle stiffeners that go on the back of that rear bulkhead. And I like to clean up the edges. Using a file uh, smooths the edges and gets a real nice, polished, smooth edge. And then I go over it with the sandpaper just to take off any little bit of burr from using the file. It's probably not 100% necessary to do, but it really does give it a nice, smooth, uh, polished, finished edge. Once I had all three of these L-angle stiffeners ready to go, I just clicked them to the back of the bulkhead. As I was building that aft bulkhead, I started thinking about my cruiser, and I want to show you something in here. So if we go inside my airplane, behind my seat, I have a box. And in that box, I have a passenger headset, a funnel, I have oil, I have a rag, I have window cleaner, I have a notebook for some reason, and whatever else is in this box. But I don't really like having that box back there. And then I was thinking in the Super Duty, you know, right about here, there's a third seat. And if I have a box full of junk back there in the plane, it's going to be in the way of the passenger. So. Building that aft bulkhead got me thinking about adding some storage to the Super Duty. So I thought that if I could add some storage to that aft bulkhead, it would be completely out of the way. All the little things I have in that box, like a headset or oil, or even like a first aid kit or little tool kit or whatever, I could put up in storage and have it completely out of the way from on the interior of the airplane. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how I made those two boxes and how I mounted them to the bulkhead. So let's get started off building the frame for the boxes. Well, as you can see here, I already have one of the cargo boxes made. So I'm gonna show you how I made the other one. Don't tell Zenith this, but when I built my cruiser, they included a lot of extra L angles in the kit. So. I happen to have all of these L angles laying around. They're about three or four feet long and I just cut them to the size I need. And uh, you can, you know, if you're gonna do this, you can make them any size you want. These are just the sizes that I made to fit in between the uh, vertical L angle stiffeners on the back of the bulkhead. So anyway, I just cut the four sides here and I'm just clamping them together so that I can drill a hole and put a rivet in uh, one rivet in each corner to hold it together. When I drill these holes, I want the edges to remain 90 degrees to each other. So I put in this block of wood and the wood serves two purposes. It kind of lets the L angle sit on the wood and gives me something to drill into. And just by pressing the two L angles against the wood, it keeps them at a 90 degree angle. Now I need two of these frames exactly the same because there's one in the front and one in the back. So I've just completed one and here I am building the second one. And here they are. Here's the front and back completed. Now I am riveting these together and I'm not sure if I'm riveting or dimpling here. I think I'm riveting, but I dimpled these uh, yeah, you can see I just riveted it. So I've dimpled these holes and I'm putting a flush rivet in there because the front side of this will sit flush against the back of that bulkhead. So I don't want a rivet sticking out. So it has a flush rivet. Here's the four other angles, sides, or whatever you want to call them. When that's kind of assembled together, you can see it kind of taking the shape of a box here. So now I just kind of Put it all together, square it up, drill the holes, and uh, build the frame. All 
This is the completed box and it is now ready to rivet together. Well now that I have the frame done, it's time to make the back and sides. In 2005 or 2006, I bought the plans for a Hummelbird and it's a little single seat airplane and or airplane with a little Volkswagen engine I think it had in it. And I built all of the bulkheads for it but never wanted to finish the airplane. But that's where I got this aluminum from. I have roll two rolls of this aluminum. This roll is 20 thousandths thick. It's 2024. And what I do is I trace the back and the sides onto it and then I kind of rough cut it out with a pair of shears. And then you'll see in just a second to get a real nice cut, I take it over to the bandsaw and finish cutting it out. And now that it's cut out on the bandsaw to the proper size, I will file the edges smooth, round the corners, and this is the back piece, which will be ready to rivet to our box frame. Well, actually, I guess before I rivet it, I need to put it on here and drill all the holes. I'm using my fan tool here just for some rivet spacing and one of the things i think i mentioned later in the video is i put way too many rivets in the back of this <laughs> i don't know why i just kind of spread this out and just marked off some rivets whichever you know or some spacing whatever looked good but when i riveted i re realized how many rivets i have in the back and i think i have way more than i actually need but that's fine Is what it looks like the only thing i wish i would have done differently is i have so many rivets in the back i don't really need this many rivets but it is what it is now so lots of room in there in fact just to give you how much an idea of how much room there is there's a quart of oil so if i was really going somewhere i could probably fit about three of them in there plus room on the top for stuff so lots of room for carrying uh, oil, maybe a little tool kit, first aid kit, uh, some rags, some window cleaner, especially with two of these. It'd be a lot of extra storage. All right, one other little thing I did was I added this L angle to the bottom, just to give the bottom a little bit of strength. It probably didn't need it, but you know, when I'm pulling nine or 10 Gs in the Super Duty, and I have some weight in here. It just gives the baggage floor some extra strength. So now it's all done. All right, both of these boxes now are complete. And I think the next step will be just to rivet them together. Actually, before I rivet them, I have to prime them. So I'll take them apart, prime them, and then rivet them together with probably A4 rivets. All right, check this out. Here is one box done. And I have a little stiffener on the bottom, just, just to stiffen up the bottom a little bit. So that one's all riveted together. And then this one here, I just need to drill out all the holes, just like I did on here. Drill out all the holes for A4, deburr everything, take it apart, prime it, and I can rivet that together. And then these two little cargo boxes, are ready to uh, install onto the aft bulkhead. One of the things I might not have pointed out, obviously this is gonna sit flat against the back of the, the bulkhead. So on the corners here, I used flush rivets. I dimpled it and flush riveted it. So it'll sit flush. And as you can see, all, they're built really nice and square. They sit flat on the workbench. They don't uh, rock or, you know, they're all nice and even and square. And because those rivets are flush down there, they, uh, 
it'll sit flush against the, the skin or the bulkhead when I put it on there. All right, here's the update. Here are the two boxes done. The bottoms have a little bit of a, or they have an L angle for just a little bit of a support. So they go like this. Now let me show you where they go on here. All right, this is the back side of the, the bulkhead. And I'll have to measure an exact placement, but that one will go like that. And then this one will go like this. And I've got two storage places behind the bulkhead. All right, I flipped this bulkhead over and as I was designing these, I drew these lines on here so they're not accurate. What I need to do is just erase all these and start over with the actual measurements. But this will be, you know, you can see back here the bulkhead. This is where the storage compartments will sit. They'll be hinged on the inside so the doors will open up like this. I don't want them to open up the other way because then when they open up they could hit the window and scratch the window. So both of these doors will open up like this towards the inside of the plane and then you'll be able to put some oil and rags or whatever you want in there. So the next step is to measure the exact opening of the boxes, figure out exactly where I want to position them, and then figure out how to cut these holes out. Most of you probably know that you never want to leave a 90 degree corner on aluminum. So I'm using this washer just to measure a nice even round corner on all of the corners. Here is what it looks like with it all drawn out and the corners rounded. To cut these out, I started with the corners, as you can see, and I used this tool here on the, or this bit on the Dremel to cut out the corners. And then I just used a, a, a disc on the Dremel to cut out the straight lines. All right, here is the opening and you can see how I cut this out on this side because there will be a hinge that goes right here like this and then over here will be some sort of latch. So this one works real nice, it fits perfectly. Now I have to do the same thing over here. All right, now both sides are cut out and what I'll do now is kind of rebuild this whole thing and show you how it all fits together. Well, this is what it looks like from the back side. Pretty tight fit, but I designed them to fit right in between the L angles. There's really nothing back there behind that bulkhead, so they won't interfere with anything. All the control rods and stuff are down in here. So I just have two nice big storage areas that really don't take up any room. And uh, they should work pretty nice, I hope. Here's what it looks like from the front side. So two, uh, two big storage compartments there and the hinge for the doors goes on here like this and this one will be here so both doors will open this way towards the middle of the airplane well i guess the last part i will show you here is i have the pilot side box drilled to the bulkhead and you can see with these rivets here or these holes i just used the same spacing as the uh this L angle, the, the stiffener that's on here. That way it'll make it look good with the rivets lined up. I use that same spacing on the top. Over here, I have the hinge and I don't have the aluminum to make the door. The aluminum I used for this is 20 thousandth and I think it's a little too thin for the door unless I made like an, an X brace or something or put some L angles behind the door, but I'd rather just find a piece of aluminum that's thick enough where I can just put the hinge on it, close it and latch it and be done with it. So anyway, that is the, uh, the two baggage compartments that I have. The only thing I have left to do is to drill the holes on this side 
and uh, you don't need to see me do that. I've already showed you this one, so I guess that's it for the storage compartments. Well, that's all I have for this video. This is completely done. I'm not going to rivet this until after the airplane is painted because when I paint this bulkhead, I don't want paint to get inside there. I'll use, I'll dimple and use flush rivets around the edge so that when you close the door, the door sits flush against the aluminum. And uh, so that'll finish this off for now. I can start priming some of these parts, get this bulkhead riveted together, and then uh, start building the back part of this fuselage. Hopefully this episode gave you some food for thought for maybe adding some storage to your airplane. Uh, I try to anticipate some of your questions. I know some people are gonna probably ask, do I have plans available for these boxes? And no, I don't. I just design them in my head and then I come in here and start making parts. There's nothing special about these. You can make them any size you want, uh, whatever fits your airplane. So have fun and I'll see you again on the next episode. Oh. Speaking of the next episode, I've got something really cool for you on that one too, so you're not going to want to miss it.